Specific nonverbal communication to increase sales. People who, people who sit with their hands in their pockets while they're trying to sell somebody, they fail. People who use these gestures fail, okay? Ross Perot gestures, crazy person gestures. <laughs> Clinton box, Clinton box. The Clinton box goes from here to here. Don't ever touch anything above this hand. Don't ever touch anything below this hand. You there? It, you know. And then you have this. This is your shoulder width. Don't go outside of the box. And if you're in the box and you're illustrating, this is illustrating like this. People are comfortable with that. They're, they find that normal. But as soon as you start doing this at their house or this at your office, they think you're going to be Dara Torres, who is going to be here this afternoon, doing the backstroke, right? So use direct oh, eye contact is pretty huge. Eye contact is a really interesting thing because we're all so different. So if I'm looking at you, when you're speaking, oh, by the way, this means it's profound. You probably want to write it down. When I'm listening to you speak to me, I will give you 100% of your eye contact the whole time you're speaking. So when I'm at the back of the room back there and I'm watching Grant speak up here, 100% of the time words are coming out of his mouth, I'm drilled into Grant. That's just what you do. You get in that habit. You never break that habit. When somebody else is talking, you give them all of your attention, 100% of your attention. Because what do we do? What's our habit? Our habit is to listen to the other person say, um, yeah, we got in a car accident, uh, almost died, almost killed ourselves on the way home today from school, work, business, the store. And, uh, and what is the other person thinking immediately? Are they thinking, gosh, that's really terrible? No. They're thinking, that's nothing. I almost got killed by 15 of those semis on the way home, right? All right? So what you want to do is you want to start getting into this eye contact, 100% attention, straight when they're talking. While you're talking, 50%. So, Mrs. Johnson, it's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Always breaking down. Never break up. Here's what people do and lose sales all the time. They'll go, blah, 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 blah. Oscillation just stopped, the answer is now no. This person is not all that wise. When you talk, you always break down toward the table, toward the floor, anything like that. You never break up with your thoughts up here. People see it as he wasn't paying attention, he lost me. Variable voice, right? I mean, you already know that, I don't have to tell you that. All right, so what else works? Well, there's the, there's the fourth grade smile, right? When I first started speaking a long, long time ago, I always thought it would be really cool to go on stage and just smile, right? You would want to smile all the time so people thought that you were happy. But I wasn't really, actually. Okay. And so I eventually decided I'd just be real. You know, this is work. This is a pain in the butt, right? It's like, okay. And then all of a sudden when somebody says something funny or something genuine would happen, then you would smile. And you go, oh, that's cool. Right? And that genuine piece right there, that f what they call a felt smile, is what really sells. Okay? That's, that's what people are buying. But a fake one, if you fake people, nice to meet you, screw it. Nice to meet you. All right? Open posture talked a little bit about that, right? So when you're sitting down, and women, this is not as easy. Women have far more complexities in dealing with communication. But when you're a female and you're sitting down, you have your leg crossed over, probably down like this, but per this is fine. But you have, this is all open here, your fair game, okay? But even though it doesn't mean anything from the sender's point of view, this, which means absolutely nothing. I live in Minnesota. You weigh 114 pounds, okay? This means you're freaking cold, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right? So you don't read stuff in that's not there. All right, this doesn't matter, but it does, in your mind, it triggers, oh, that's a defensive posture. Yes, defense against the cold, okay? It's Minnesota, it's chilly. So always assume, and by the way, when you come to a place like this, the men are always very, very hot, and the women are always very, very cold in rooms like this, right? You're freezing, yes, okay? I'm burning up, all right? So open posture is crucial, and you can't really sell without it. And a lot of the times when you miss a sale, like it was that close, this is one of those keys. One of the stupid things that salespeople do, of all the things that I analyzed in video, husband and wife, or just the husband or just the wife, they're here, and you sit down, and you would watch the video, and immediately, Mr. Salesman over here, Mr. Moron, would immediately 
do this and lean forward into the conversation as if he was invited into that space. Wow, that's a huge mistake from somebody who doesn't see a lot of women very often, okay? So the answer is, is the forward lean is huge after she allows you in. And the answer to that is, is when she bends in, when she bends into your conversation like this, she's interested, she's looking at something, women won't go and just look at something to look at something, okay? They will, they will sit back like this and let you talk, and it's like talking to a stone wall. But once it goes like this, now you forward lean in, and you lean in. Now sales happen, and the woman has now bought. The wife has now bought, okay?